Hey everyone, this is Ricky Grove, Managing Editor at Renderosity.com, and this is News of the Week for November 5th, 2018. In Renderosity News, the Gallery of the Week is the Food Gallery. Although it's a small gallery, there's some really great work being posted there. Photography is the main format, but there's also some great 2D and 3D food-related art as well. Check out the video gallery for 10 selections from the Food Gallery. Our Artist of the Month for November is the writer Red Phantom. We're working on an interview and a short reading from one of Red Phantom's series. Visit Red Phantom's gallery for some more of her excellent stories. And our Vendor of the Month for November is Anna Gord. This immensely talented artist vendor won the Best All-Around Vendor of the Year for 2017. We'll be posting a video gallery and a short interview in the near future. And in Renderosity Magazine news, Renderosity and Real Illusion announced Character Creator 3 partnership. Renderosity has partnered with Real Illusion to help promote access to Real Illusion Character Creator 3, a full character creation solution that Renderosity members can use to import and unify their DAZ and Poser content for real-time animation and game design. The company announced this on November 1st. Chaos Groups adds V-Ray to Cinema 4D and plans for the Corona render as well. At the Maxon Super Me 2018 event November 1st, Chaos Group announced its plans to officially support the Cinema 4D community with two rendering projects, V-Ray for Cinema 4D and Corona for Cinema 4D. Check out the link to learn more. And finally, winners in the 2018 Renderosity Halloween contest have been announced. Renderosity asked its community to put their scariest foot forward and create their submissions for the annual Halloween Creative Contest. This year's theme was Things That Go Bump in the Night. Make sure you check the link to find out the winners. And thanks to everyone who entered. And that's all the news we have for you. Take care. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.